Yeah, I got this on right. There we go. Oh, hello from Mac Beans, Scottish Fitness, and Farms and Prepping. So I'm just going to go kind of walk around the farm, show you some things of interest and what I've done. So the first thing, my outdoor gym. So first I brought the 60s out, then I brought the 70s, and then last I brought out the 80s. Quite, quite heavy. Uh, the garden is coming along extremely well. You can tell when the corn is so hot, you see how they curl up, and they do that to keep from losing water. Now I did water them today, and you can hardly tell that there was water there. <coughs> I did do a lot of weeding. Yesterday, and I'll do some more tomorrow. I want these weeds that you got get the roots, or they just grow right back. So sometimes you don't quite get the result you want, but uh, once you break them loose, and the ones next to them come out a little bit easier. And if you don't get them all, that's fine. The whole idea is to get the majority of them. Because they will sap all the water and nutrients from the plant. You don't have to get every one of them. Because you do want to get a lot of them. The tomatoes, those are doing really good. The grow bags are doing awesome. I will do more of these next year. Uh, even used a tire to do my pumpkin plant. More corn. This was all weeds before. And <coughs> went through the mower and mowed it off. For the main reason is to uh, push the varmints a little bit further from the garden. Here's a big branch. Carry out to the wood pile. And your work is like never ends out here, but I like being outdoors, so that works it out well for me. Somebody asked me about cardio on my live stream today. I said well, I get four, four to five miles of walking every day between picking up branches and walking out to the garden, walking out to the pond. Uh, walking out to the mailbox. Sometimes I don't even need to go down the road. And I can get plenty, plenty of exercise. I also uh, mowed out a area, which I'll show you here in a little bit, to throw discus. Uh, I used to throw it with my son all the time when he competed in uh, grade school, junior high, and high school. By sophomore year, he could outthrow me. Uh, he can just spin faster than I can and not fall down. So, <clears throat> here's the area I cleared the throw discus. I'll figure I'll throw from here. And that gives me a pretty good field. We'll see how far it is to the end of it. I'll pace it off. So, 150 feet. Imagine I'll throw any further than that, <laughs> if this far. And then, uh, did I stop that? No, good. Or did I? Nope. And then when I came up to the pond earlier today with the mower, I kicked out a blue heron. They're beautiful birds, but I don't necessarily want in here because uh, they're very efficient fishers. 
and I don't want them catching all the bluegill I put in here. You know, I'd like the bluegill to have a chance to breed at least once or twice. The water's pretty clear. I can see the minnows. So the minnows breeded. Those devils are, oh, there were a frog, because they are far smaller than the ones I put in. So that's good. And uh, I got about at least three turtles in here I've seen. And I put 17 bluegill. Pretty good shape there. Got my rock pile there. This is my range, which I gotta move some dirt. But it's a 100 foot range and I got some trimming I need to do with trees and that. It's on my get to list. Uh, yeah, you'll have to go and you'll have to go. And this is just a walk and I can do around my 14 acres. So let me see if there's a snake here. This is usually a good place for a snake to be. But I don't see them. And that could just be because they're already out and about. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> the area I mowed out just to knock the ragweeds down. And uh, so we really set up here, and that's the target range there. And this is just going to be for the ability to have everybody park. I don't always mow the section this big, but every now and then I do knock them down just to keep the bad trees away. And basically this is exercise I can get this walking around my property. Uh, I think one lap around the circumference is that I'll have to test it with my amp one of these days. And today might be that day and see how far that is but I think if I close this out I'll lose my video I can always do a part two I don't think I'll do that see uh, how long it is to walk the circumference of my property I'll start at the mailbox and see how it goes. So I'll cut this off. This will be part one, and I'll start part two.